Only on five this morning, we have some stats for you that shocked us. They show speeding semis are a big danger on our roads. Yeah, every single year, more than a thousand people are killed in crashes involving speeding tractor trailers. Well, now there is a plea from parents whose son was killed in a crash. So let's bring in Kristen Byrne now with more on this story. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. And here's why this is an issue. A fully loaded tractor trailer weighing 80 thousand pounds traveling at 65 miles per hour. It'll take almost the length of two football fields to stop in an emergency. That's 200 yards. Steve and Susan, Susan Owings lost their 22 year old son Cullum after his stopped car was crushed from behind by a speeding semi over in Virginia. Soon after their loss in 2003, they founded the nonprofit Road Safe America. And they're proposing that every big rig in our country be required to use a speed limiting tool. It's technology built into every semi and it limits the truck's speed. Many trucking companies use something similar to this, but independent truckers don't. And now the U.S. Department of Transportation is proposing that this rule be applied to all new trucks. Problem is, existing semis on the highways, they're not required to use it. It's hard to believe anybody wouldn't agree with us on this, but what we hear is that some truckers oppose it because it's a pay issue for them because they're paid by the mile. So sadly, for the farther and the faster they drive, the more money they can make. Now, if you want to help and change these rules, all you need to do is contact your local lawmaker up until December 7th. The public can weigh in on this issue. Terrence and Karina, over to you.